Hi, you guys. Welcome to Wrestling Tea Tarot. I am Calypso Vibes here with my partner, Jude. We're going to do Rick Steiner. Um, as you guys know, he's been in the news and not for good things. Um, he's been in the news for a lot of controversy for saying hateful things. Um, what is the lady's name? Giselle Shaw. To Giselle Shaw at WrestleCon, right? So um, I wanted to take a look at who Rick Steiner is behind the scenes because I think there's been this image of Rick Steiner that we always think is Scott Steiner, you know, that's the bad guy, the bad boy, or uh, the one who kind of, you know, says things blunt off his chest. And maybe that's a good thing because at least we know who Scott is. Rick seems to be the one that wears a mask, a public mask that nobody knows about, right? So I figure it's a good time to do, first of all, let's do some numerology. Then we're going we're gonna to do some numerology, astrology, and the tarot on what's the T. See if we could really see what happened at WrestleCon, right? In the aftermath of WrestleCon of like what he's feeling and stuff like that. So I think this is a good way to see if we can get a little bit of a glimpse of uh, Rick Steiner and who he is as a person. So that'll, you know, help explain, you know, why would he make such a hateful outburst? Because I don't, I'm... For YouTube purposes, I cannot repeat, absolutely cannot repeat what he said. So if you don't know what we're talking about, you definitely might want to Google it. So you can just Google Rick Steiner at WrestleCon and I'm pretty sure you'll find it. Um, again, this Wrestling Tea Tarot. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, manifestation and pro proliferation. You are optimistic, sociable, and amusing. It is never a dull moment with you. However, <laughs> your attractivity can also be deceitful and superficial. So I feel like there in itself, it uh, says a lot, right, about he masks who he really is, right? Oh, no, he seems like this really outgoing, personable person who, uh, you know, everybody, oh, he's such a great dad. He's such a family man. He's, you know, he, he's a really good guy, but there is some deceitful, superficial person underneath the surface that we do not know. And by the way, he's a Pisces just so it's clear um so we're looking at his cards of you know his pisces his life path his destiny number and things like that right really getting to the nitty-gritty of who he is what what you can say it on the camera what allegedly for entertainment. allegedly for entertainment purposes sacrifice right. and inner life the 12th house refers to the unconscious and the things beyond the physical plane. It has been called the house of karma. Ooh, let me tell you, when I see something like this where it says sacrifice and in inner life, um, yeah, it's a veil. Like this imagery is even about a veil and the house of karma. He's definitely going to reap what he sows. Even if it's not in this life, it definitely means he will carry his burden into the afterlife. And sometimes this is also a sign that your children can inherit your karma debt. So, yeah, buddy, he needs to be very careful of what legacy he's leaving behind for um, Braun Breaker, right? Who's currently in the WWE, his son. Um, his destiny number is four. These are not alleged. That's why I didn't say allegedly for entertainment purposes, because these are not the alleged cards. These is who he is as a man. This is Robert. That I'm talking about. So there's no legend in these cards, you guys. This is his actual birthday. We've done the math on his life path number, his power number, and things like that. So that's the only why I didn't say it for this. Um, but it's his destiny number is a number four. You are destined to organize your life with practical approach. In this lifetime, you have to build and organize. Family matters need to be managed, and you have to take responsibility. So Yes, even his his destiny number is calling him out to hold himself accountable, right? No, you know what you said, you know what you did, and you need to apologize and hold yourself accountable, right? Even if she doesn't accept his apology, he owes a lot of people an apology because it was disrespectful, it was rude. Here's the thing. <clears throat> I really stand by this. I rather know who people are than these masks that they've been allowed to wear. I hate to break it to a lot of us. A lot of these wrestling dudes are dudes who come from all kinds of backgrounds, right? Raised in all kinds of environments. And their characters are exactly just that, characters. We do not know who these men are. And I think that's why our channel is really good and refreshing 
and uh, kind of can give you some insight on these wrestlers that we've idolized our whole lives, right? Like, it's the same thing of people who watch Serena Williams. We don't know who Serena Williams really is. We just know the tennis star, right? So tarot can really, especially uh, numerology and astrology, can really give you an idea of who you're worshiping, who you're idolizing, who, do you, who you're putting on your wall, right, growing up. And I kind of wish my parents were into this kind of stuff because I, I think it would it it would help, you know, steer you from like <laughs> looking up to people who might be some crappy people on the low, right? So I think seeing Destiny Four is a, uh, you know, he needs to watch his mouth. He definitely needs to take himself accountable. Spirit's gonna demand this though. That's why I'm saying like I think he's quiet now, but um, I think his peers are gonna. Uh, the peers that are still cool with him, I think a lot of his peers, unfortunately, a lot of people are going to be sad to hear this, agree with him and the things he might have said. He just shouldn't have said it at the WrestleCon. And this isn't my beliefs, but I'm just telling you, a lot of them dudes are old school. I'm talking about old school. We're talking about traditionalists. We're talking about, um, you know, conservative, because that's the reality. He's a conservative. Like, the things he's saying comes from a conservative standpoint, right? People who are honor church but you know family uh you know things like that so i think we wouldn't be shocked especially the religious guys oh my god the the guys who've really turned into religion heavy i think we wouldn't be shocked if we find out how many of his peers agree with him and i'm gonna say this the reason why when he left the con he had a lot of wrestlers still hanging out around him even though they know what he said on that floor right and then a lot of his peers still stood around him. They, by the way, he went to Hall of Fame that night. Socializing. Seeing socializing with his peers. So this is why I'm saying we don't know these people. And unfortunately, a lot of his peers seem to have like, didn't outcast him like they should have to me. And they, I think it was a little disappointing to hear that he was at the Hall of Fame. He was still welcomed at the Hall of Fame event. Because there's no way the WWE didn't hear what happened. And they still let him show up at that Hall of Fame event. And I don't think it sends a good message. And I think people should hold the WWE a little bit more accountable for what he said, right, to this lady out at WrestleCon. That I don't even think they've made a post saying that they don't agree, they don't approve, that WWE doesn't stand by that message, right? And that's not fake wokeism, like, right? Like, even if you don't respect transgender rights or gay rights, or anything like that, you don't have the right to be hateful and harmful to somebody in a public space and environment, right? And what he could have did could have sparked a very hateful environment for her, right? And it could have gotten a lot worse. And I really think there should be more public backlash towards him. It really should be. And it should be from the WWE sending an example that they don't condone that type of you know, they don't condone that. And I think I'm a little disappointed that WWE hasn't said anything so far. And Rick Steiner is a <laughs> Hall of Famer. He's only been right. for a year. He and he's in the Hall of Fame, right? Well, Hogan Hogan said the N-word and he got outcasted of the Hall of Fame. I think what, what Rick did is just as bad. And it was publicly, out in the public. I don't understand how people aren't demanding his head on a pike. And it, that's why my point is, it's because a lot of people seem to possibly quietly agree with him. And that's a little disappointing. His power numbers is six. Reevaluate what it means to work with loving service and within your family, which I think he needs to do right now more than ever, right? Loving, that key word, loving service, right? Work with your call towards duty and service to others. Excuse me. There's truth to what I'm saying. Delight in the home and family and compassion and affection. I think he's lost that. Like what it means to really be compassionate and have empathy and affection towards people, right? I think as people get older, right? There you go. His, his power numbers are sex. I think as people get older, they really lose. I think older people really do lose compassion. I really do think they become less affectionate. Um, I do think they lose their empathy because you're getting older, right? And the world isn't center around, centered around you anymore because you're older, right? So you treat it like an old man. You treat it like your your voice doesn't have an opinion anymore. You don't have any value, right? And the youth, to some degree, are very disrespectful to elders, right? So that doesn't help. 
Um, but I also, this, and by the way, this is not me in any way condoning or approving who he is. I am trying to be as neutral as possible during this reading, right? But I am saying people are entitled to their views and perspective. And he's even entitled to be a conservative. Because, like, again, I don't get caught up in the blue and red side. Personally, as myself, I respect people who they are, right? That's it. That's all that matters. I don't I don't care what your color is, your background. I don't none of that labels to me don't matter. Just respect people's personal space, people's privacy, and you know, respect them as a human, right? The humanity part is in me. I'm very much that. So to to see someone who's such a public figure whose son is in the limelight be so disrespectful and disregard that, he, he has to feel that strongly to say that out in the public, right? And um, that's why I think he should be held accountable in a much more stronger way, right? That it's not okay. And and he clearly, I definitely think he's old school and a family guy. Like a lot of these cars say a lot of family. We're getting a lot of inner house, a lot of family. Um, unfortunately, this now paints Brom Breaker in a different light to me a little bit. Because if you grow up in an environment like this, um, one can only hope that Brown Breaker, like even though my parents grew up, you know, my mom grew up Catholic, I'm not Catholic, right? My mom's much more religious than I am. So no, it doesn't mean that just because she's religious, I'm the same way, right? But it doesn't change that he might have grown up in this kind of environment and teachings, right? So, um hopefully I, I haven't looked can you look to see has Brom breaker spoken out about the comments his dad has made i haven't seen anything Let me, me neither that. which is concerning a, just a little bit right recognize and use creativity intuition and healing capabilities to benefit humanity master illuminator so by the way he has a master number a life path 11 wisdom truth and knowledge recognize and use creativity intuition and healing capabilities to benefit humanity he's not using his gifts at all um he's actually been quite harmful and again like i said i don't care what you believe about people right but i do believe in respecting people in public spaces and public environments and not being a hateful person and um what he did was very hateful and harmful out in public so it's 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 all against his life path, right? You know, you listen to his life path and destiny number, he's he's definitely going against his calling and his purpose in life, whether he knows it or not. <clears throat> and sorry, my voice is straining and I'm feeling all kind of emotions, honestly. I'm feeling real heavy, a little bit of emotional. And I think he might even be a little bit embarrassed by what what he said and what he did. You know what I mean? So um let's see if we can get something on the situations again this is wrestling t tarot on rick steiner you guys ron breaker's father scott steiner's brother the steiner brothers with the incident that happened at wrestle uh wrestlecon us trying to look in and see what happened at wrestlecon and what's happening after what's the consequences to Rick Steiner, to maybe Braun Breaker, his brother, like this, this is gonna have a, a you know ripple effect. He's been banned permanently from the convention for life, which should be. Um, we have receipts, proof, show me. People are pulling up his past. Not shocked. Um, physical moving locations change. He might be moving. Done completion lesson learned. <laughs> Cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negativity. Yeah, he's trying to, he's trying to, you know, kill the noise, protection, prevent it from harm, divine intervention. So, uh, clearly someone has stepped in. I feel like whenever I see Archangel Michael, that might be someone else stepping in to help clean up the situation. There it is, see? Intervention. Rescue. There's others involved of, you know, wish, hoping, praying. Praying that, you know, all this, you know, passes by. Um, where's the card I pulled earlier? Because I definitely had one earlier. I was telling Jude that I had earlier. Yeah, so earlier I pulled meeting crickets 
and let me see if I can find the other one because I done messed around and shuffled and I had shuffled the first time when I did this reading privately or sat with the cards privately unfortunately I don't see the other card I can't even remember what the other card was and I just know it was those for sure um dang it yeah I hate this because I definitely had the three cards that popped out and I had put them aside because I was like I definitely want to put these aside um because I was like oh my god how true it was so yeah we got the but I did have crickets I definitely had that that he was being told to be quiet and there was a meeting happening so I definitely think WWE was aware and probably has sat down with him and Braun Breaker about the situation or definitely has sat down with his son Breaker support Ooh, I hope a lawsuit isn't going to play out like when I see financial support money it makes me think like there's going to be some kind of payout in this situation possibly she could act like what he did was absolutely so like not even just disrespect it's harmful i, I suppose i mean she creating can, a she toxic can claim, environment like, that creating that scene impacted her financially mm -hmm. and, and she and embarrassed her right but if it impacted her financially she could seek some sort of compensation for that i guess i'm i'm a lawyer but um and again, we... harassment, all of that. Like he was, he literally, she, she even went back up to him allegedly. Like I've read what happened mm -hmm. and he, and he was loud in her face. So no, he meant what he said. And not only did he mean what he said, he got louder allegedly and more disrespectful in her face. So I, people are crazy if she hasn't gone and met with a lawyer to possibly talk about something. So we got receipts, proof, show me. That's what's playing out in this situation, right? Somebody's, you know, trying to find a video, possibly, of, of the incident. Like, someone's probably got it on, on video, right? There's definitely receipts involved. Um, something's on the move, physical change, location change. He's on the move, like, right after he left. He left immediately after, uh, after Mania. Or, like I said, protection to prevent it from harm and divine intervention. Someone probably definitely stepped in and, and kept the situation from getting worse and harm being involved. Cricket, silence, non-action. He was interviewed on the camera. He wouldn't talk. He wouldn't say anything. Somebody was asking him, oh, how'd you feel about that? And unfortunately, I told you that I was a little disappointed when I saw who was on the elevator with him. It was Lex Luger leaving with him and Ron Simmons. So I was very disappointed to see who was leaving with him. Um, meeting to a, you know, two or more. Like I said, I had pulled this earlier, right before I started. Uh, discussions and planning. So there's definitely talks. There's been a meeting. He's in denial, not facing the truth. The rational reason he has irrational reasoning for what he said and did. Not shocked, right? No, no, I did it. I did it because. That's how I felt, and, and I'm allowed, you know, my constitutional rights, like, because everybody thinks <laughs> that the constitutional rights means they, they get to be ignorant and disrespectful and hurtful and harmful and all this, you know, all these things, right? Done, completion, Well, well I mean, they do get to do learned. all those things, but, they, but there's also well, consequences. But there's consequences. Right? It's a situation, he's, he's done, he's over it. Um, wish, hope, yearning, praying. Right, he might be speaking, seeking some spiritual sol solace, right? Like going to church, praying, you know, uh, leaning into his faith, right? Praying that things smooth over, right? Financial support, government. I, I like I said, I think there might that meeting might have been whether it's with the WWE or with her to make it go away for her to not say more. I don't know, has she said anything since then? I'm not seeing much of anything except people talking about the initial incident. I haven't seen anything from Braun. Uh-huh. Um, you know, I've, the, the, one, the one hit I got when looking about Braun was when Jim Cornette was discussing the, the incident saying, yeah, I don't know if Braun's still going to get that main roster push. Intervention, rescue, others involved. So like I said, there's more people involved. Like some people stepped up to intervene and probably talked to them. Had they, like I said, there's a meeting and an intervention that happened in cleansing, meditation, clearing space, 
You know, he's he's removing himself from negativity. Anybody who's got negative things to say, he's removed himself, but he's in denial, initial denial of the situation, right? Oh, I didn't do nothing wrong, you know, stuff like that. So that's that's the energy I'm reading about the situation because the situation's deck is about what happened, right? So someone definitely probably intervened and stepped in. And then, you know, uh, he, he might have gotten to a space where he was trying to remove the negativity and stuff like that. And he's been on the move and on the go. Um, yeah, I don't know what this is going to mean for Braun Breaker, unfortunately. But if there was some kind of financial compensation to her, then that's why we're not hearing from her. But there was definitely a meeting had. And now he's waiting. Ooh. Rick Steiner. Uh-huh. He's getting support from friends. I told you. There's people who feel like he do, unfortunately. Right? And again, I have no beef with that. I just think it was hecka inappropriate. Super inappropriate. And if you're around wrestling fans, a lot of that, that alpha masculine energy, right? Like, no disrespect, like, some of them wrestling fans are vile, like, can be super vile and hateful, right? I, I'm, as a black woman, I've been to wrestling events where I've sometimes have felt a little uncomfortable being, like, the only black person in some of those spaces at times. You know, when you go to an event. Right? So... We don't know the situation until we're in it, right? It's easy to judge when it's not you. I always say that. Mm-hmm. In the shadows. Keep your personal life private. That was a mistake. Mm-hmm. He was told to move in silence. Not the right time. Because his son. See? This is what Spirit was saying. Containing. Mm -hmm. He's being told shut up. Higher forces told you that's the that's the WWE. That's that's that structure authority, right? Shut your mouth. Mm -hmm. Shut your mouth. Deception. Ooh, boy, these cards are talking. Okay, um, let me see. Can you pick it up? Yes. Sorry, y'all. Y'all know when y'all when y'all see me do the readings. Unlike Jews, mine go all over the place. It's like a birthday party in my hands. Uh, when the cards really want to talk. Um. Ooh, it's exactly what I thought. That's why I love this deck so much. Okay, so first card we got, you guys, is friendship. Someone offering their support, someone close to you, your social circle. It's probably his brother. Let's be real. His brother, his son's proud, possibly supporting him because he looks like he has a really close relationship with his son. But he's also his friendship group, right? Or, or he's leaning into that, right? right. And, and the fact that this occurred at <laughs> WrestleCon where you know it's, I mean, that's just a practically a family reunion for these guys. Right. Get to hang out with all my, my homies from my old era. Extremely happy with life, living life to the fullest, excitement and happiness. I think he was high when he, like, high on life. I don't mean high when he did it. But I, I like you said, that weekend's a family reunion. He was feeling himself. He was, he was riding the high. His son had a match and was getting his call up. Mm -hmm. Like, the only reason why Brown Breaker dropped that belt, it was really teased. He was absolutely being called up. Then we have containing, what? Containing, controlling one's feelings, restraining oneself, uh -huh, repress emotions. So he's been repressing who he really is for a long time, and he is now. He's repressing how he really feels and what, what he really wants to come out and say. Waiting, waiting for something, someone delaying action, being patient, sitting. Remember, I got that being quiet, the crickets card. So, yeah, he's being told, shut his mouth, wait it out. So he's having to repress and contain who he really is and what he really want to say. He has some regret, feeling of sadness, guilt and shame. Not shock, right? The sadness, the guilt and shame that he embarrasses peers. 
I don't know who he was at the table with, but they might have been embarrassed. I wish we could see right. that. Like, I need to try to see if I can see the video again. Like, there was a... I saw, like, I, pictures. I don't know if I saw, like, the full video of it. I would think it'd be Scott, but apart from that, I don't know. But someone, him, himself, it says, sorry about what happened. Regret over your decision. So, yeah, I mean, there's some regret. Um, I think he just regrets getting caught and called out for it, but that's my own opinion because I don't see other remorse cards. It's, like, the only card I got. I think he regrets his decisions and how he did it, but I don't feel no other regret. New birth, creation, and metamorphosis, birthing something new, coming into being. So, you know, we got a new birth card happening. I don't know if someone's pregnant around him. Maybe one of his sons or children are having a child. Um, but there's a new birth card around him. Um, or this could be Brian Breaker's career, right? Taking on a new birth. I don't know. Or was supposed to. Because, again, I think he's now sitting in NXT limbo until this this you know, energy bypasses, right? They're hoping that if they say nothing, people won't say anything, right? It, it, you know, it's kind of the Vinnie McMahon, go away and no one will talk about it, right? It's not how that works. Snake Charmer, uh-huh, turn a situation to your advantage, you'll win against your enemy, oof, two steps ahead of your enemy because he has higher forces helping him. Unfortunately, he's he's going to scathe out of this. He's going to make it out. He won't be held accountable. Because of the higher forces communicating with other realms, help from higher dimensions, divine protections, that Archangel Michael energy. Crossroads. Crucial decision must be made. Moments of change. Make it or break. So, there's make or break stuff happening. Right? He might even be getting told ultimatums like change how your mouth runs because your son ain't going to get called up and become no champ while you move, you know, running your mouth the way you do. Right? Because that costs the company. The company doesn't care about your politics. Let's be real. They don't care what he said. They just care how it affects their business and their money. In the shadows, keep your personal, yep, he's being told keep your personal life private, not the right time and told to shut up and move in silence. I knew it. Yeah. Just confirmation. In the shadows, sovereignty, position of high power, sad is something, someone majestic, and air superiority. Oh my God, look at that. Is that Vinny or Paul? Mm -hmm. Who's who's that? Who's that air of superiority? The higher forces. Look at all mm -hmm. this. And a snake charmer. Look at this. Look at all this energy. Look at that. Pull the look at that. All right there. Deception, lies, dis distortion, self-deception. Blinded by the wrong beliefs, not seeing what's true. There you go. That's, that, that, that's what's going on with him. He's, he's blinded by the wrong beliefs. Again, people are entitled to their beliefs. But I think even Spirit acknowledges is that his beliefs of are, can be harmful, right? Again, we don't get to dictate people's lives or what we think about other people's lives. Again, I still don't get why somebody else's life affects people. <laughs> how I live my life, how does that affect you? She was a total stranger to him, by right. the way. You that know, made no sense. Uh, I think athletes probably take the idea of transgender athletes very seriously. Right, I get it. I get it. And, and and Rick Steiner is a for real, you know, collegiate athlete. But what I think he might not be remembering is that professional wrestling is theater. Right. And just it's not your business. Right. So, regardless of what he feels about it, that's no what I'm saying. This isn't this is this isn't even about a real sport. Right. It's not a real sport. Sorry, it's not. What they do is real. I'm not saying that wrestling mm -hmm. isn't real. But it's it not absolutely real competition. Is, but it's not real competition. What do you think of the card so far? There's that fertility again. 
Yeah, the, the birth of something new in the bunny. Uh, I think just like you said, there's this incident the is, is being mm -hmm. discussed around tables with very nice play settings. Mm -hmm. Because decisions have to be made both about Rick Steiner's future, you know, with the with the company being on, you know, a Legends contract. Excuse me, a Legends contract and being in the Hall of Fame, and Braun Breaker's future. You know, it's to his benefit in the company that he doesn't carry his dad's name as his ring name. Oh my God! And, and now that, more than ever, maybe and, that's why he knew that. I'm starting to wonder why, and maybe this is why. Maybe this is why. Because <laughs> he knows who his dad is. Right? And in case his dad ever opens his mouth, he don't want the attachment. Or, or maybe that's why he agreed to it. Because Vince also knows who Rick Steiner is. Right. It's like, no, if we're going to invest money in this kid... He's gonna be his own his own brand. Right. Again, this is allegedly for entertainment, entertainment purposes. purposes. So now, weird. this part is allegedly for entertainment purposes. Yes. All right, you guys. Let me get the rest of this. Some more clarity. Ooh, these cards are gonna trip. We got. Yep, he's detached, mechanical, and cold. I am not shocked that I'm pulling a card like this. Then we pull fear, worry, and doubts. Then we pull mixed emotions, complex, and bittersweet. Then we pull have fun, party, lighten up, which we know it was during WrestleMania weekend. Pretty much they were all partying, having a blast, right? Golden... Incubation before new life. I continue to pull the rabbit. Where's the rabbit? Rabbit. Yeah, his son was about to have a glow up. Oof. Because it's all in the cards. The family was about to glow up, right? Incubation before new life. So he might have was going to be brought in with his son, right? Like doing things with his son. Like they did a table for three not so long ago. Mm -hmm. Like they were bringing the Steiner brothers back into the family fold because they planned to push Braun Breaker. All right. Well, that's the only reason they got in the Hall of Fame. All right. Good times. There we go. Fertility. So, you know, the brink of a lot, a of, lot of brink of new, 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 new. Then we got sucker, foolish, oof, victimized. So he's playing the victim because he's foolish. <laughs> and a sucker got sucked into the, oof, I don't know what he got sucked into, but there was, either way that card says foolish. <laughs> New level, next phase promotion. Boy, whoo, I hope he did not mess his son's bags up. Seriously. Oof, Brian Breaker might be waiting a little while now. That's three cards of like new, 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 new. Um, keep trying. Don't give up. So worth fixing, right? I don't know. I guess some people are saying it's worth fixing. Trying to help, I guess, right? People haven't given up on them. Awaken love, new love, open heart. I don't know what his love life is like, but that's there. And then we got Memories, the Past, Nostalgia. That was all about Mania. Mania is all a nostalgia event, you know what I mean? Especially this year. This year was, whew, heavy on a nostalgia. Oof, I hate the energy I feel, though. I don't like his energy. I've done a lot of people, and his energy is just like, ugh, like gassy as heck in the chest. Seriously. Reading is really exciting. So? I mean, I don't, I don't disagree with how you're, how you're reading it. I think... You know, he, uh, I don't want to make this political, but there, there are people who do feel like not being able to say hateful things is a restriction on their freedom of speech, right? right? So, oh no, I, I, I'm not allowed to feel this way. I'm not allowed to be a traditional, a traditional person and oh, poor me. I, you know, I, I'm the victim for people, you know, getting pushed back for, for saying, you know, vile things. And, yeah, I mean, if, if he believes that, he is a sucker for thinking it. 
all right so we got the future and ashamed sorry y'all these cards are a lot bigger unfulfilled emotional can you pick that one up if it's possible it's like in this awkward position like right under my thigh please don't forget you guys to like share and subscribe sorry i'm a little bit more quiet during this reading because this energy is like get, giving me like bad indigestion seriously excuse me like whew, like literally that's him I the, the, the energy I feel is, I'm so sorry it's heartburn make sure to like share subscribe and turn on that notification bell hey you felt like that when you were doing some of these readings too the achy feeling the heavy feeling I sure have. and mine is the heartburn yep. like like he's drinking like that's what it's like 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 uh, some drinking moping thing right all right that's it, y'all. The, with the with the truth is, I got one more deck and then we're done. It's the tea deck. I've saved that for last. The tea hunt tea. Whew, yeah. Heck of harbor. Ashamed, embarrassed about past behavior. So there you go. Are we really shocked? I mean, this uh, this deck is called the truth is for a reason. So the truth is, he isn't. He is ashamed and embarrassed about his past behavior. Doesn't mean he doesn't feel how he does. Mm -hmm. He's just ashamed about it. The future becoming clear about your vision of the future. So, I mean, he's looking forward, right? Focusing on, on the future, getting clear about it, right? Unfulfilled emotional or physical needs unmet. I need more love. Maybe that's what it is, right? Uh, I don't know what is it is. Again, I don't know what this love life is like. You know, the home life is like with the wife and stuff like that. But unfulfilled emotional or physical needs unmet. Um... Victorious, you will overcome any problems within this connection. So, yeah, like I said, he's going to win. The fact that I've now pulled two cards that says he's going to come out of this, you know, on top still or like, okay, right? It's not going to harm him as bad as it could and possibly should, right? Um, Like I said, I have no beef with what he said. I have a beef with how he did it. It was really inappropriate and really not okay. And uh, really disrespectful and, like I said, really harmful to someone he didn't even know. Complete, total stranger. I'm sorry. I'm not okay with strangers blurting out loud, you know, how you can say how you feel to me, right? But to, to put her on public blast out in the open in front of people was really just rude. Better now healing wounds within the relationship. So, yeah, maybe he's healing his relationship with his son because I definitely think his son felt the effect of this. So, there's there's some healing needing to be done and they're they're looking towards the future but he's ashamed rightfully so all right the last deck for rick steiner so i think he's guilty you know like if there's there's any doubt of him lying trying to say oh it wasn't me nah these cards definitely I, the shame the guilt but the also just kind of mad he got caught vibe is is real and he's getting help from the fed that's why they're quiet on it Oof, here we go Ooh, he's reflecting Oof. That's what it is. He's a happiness hater. Uh -huh, I told you there's money involved. Yep, there's money involved. Oof. He's got bad habits. Drugs, addictions, toxicities. Uh, Rick is allegedly Lonely. married, but there's no mention of it, like, on his wiki page. Um, so it's, it's pretty quiet. Mm -hmm. Blocked on so ooh, social media by people. Ooh. Oh, I told you. There's money involved. I knew it. Mm-hmm. Keep. That's on. I can't reach that. Hold on, you guys.
<sighs> All right. That was a lot of cards. So let's wrap this up, you guys. Thanks for watching Wrestling T Tarot of Rick Steiner. And I'm here as Calypso. I'm shocked. Judy usually has a lot more to say, and it's about the most quiet as he's been <laughs> toward the reading. You don't like this reading, huh? Well, again, it's, it's very political, and I think we'll, I'll let it breathe. Oh, my God. How spot on am I? Oh, God, I'm good at what I do. I don't want to brag, but. All right, you guys, because it's always just a continuousness, reaffirming, reflecting. He's, he's reflecting. He's a happiness hater. Uh, he's lonely, married and lonely. So he's a happiness hater. He sees his son. His son is living the life he always wanted, by the way. His son is thriving at a younger age than he is. His son's been in the NFL. Like his son is living a good life. He's a happiness hater. Low IQ. Take that for what you want. <laughs> I'm so allegedly for the table purposes. Low IQ. Giving money, like I said, I called that there would be some kind of financial compensation. Um, jackpot, there it is, more money. There's money involved. I don't know for who, I don't know if it's for her, but the giving money means possibly for her. That's why I saw the financial support, the giving money. He's giving money to somebody. I don't know. Maybe it's the to ladies of the night. Who knows? I don't know. He's giving up some money. But it's, the family's coming into money. Like, Bron Breaker's deal was probably lucrative. Because there's a jackpot, right? <clears throat> Unexpected money and rich inheritance. That means, like, in the family. There was money involved with the family. That's why he was cutting up WrestleMania weekend. Blocked. Right? Because they might even be getting more money from the Fed, right? Bringing them back in. But social media is blocking him. There's people blocking him on social media. And so he is he is reaping some form of backlash, right? Not everybody's okay with how he did things, right? Because again, at the end of the day, a lot of people say, yeah, even if you feel that way, you didn't need to be disrespectful out in public. Forcer forces things on you, forces their way in uses force to get what they want so yeah he's used to being aggressive and uh to, to get what he want like i said he's not the person we thought he is because here it is wolf in sheep's clothing mm -hmm. my shock face when that card came out um bad habits drug addiction toxicities i don't know what his addiction is but it's something could be alcohol could be anything or what it says it is but bad habits card hustling making it rain focuses on money so yeah this you know he was hustling at wrestlecon right trying to make money like a lot of those wrestlers that place has become a side hustle for them right but their screenshots getting evidence proof and facts yeah there might be some quiet legal action that's being taken and he's gonna have to pay some money but that's the second receipts card by the way and him being blocked on social media scarcity tactics all right we're probably not going to see him for one for a minute all right there's some scarcity tactics happening child services this is interesting so i don't know what that means i don't know if brown breaker is going to tell a story of possibly you know his upbringing or something or child services in this case i don't think he has any little children i don't even think he's a granddad yet i'm not exactly sure but that card could reflect his relationship with his son. That's what I'm saying. So, oof, which isn't good. That, Like I said, I think I read that about him and Braun Breaker. Braun might even said, I need time because this has absolutely affected Braun Breaker. So when I see that card, it definitely means him and Braun aren't in a good place right now. Like I haven't even gotten a lot of like family cards. So they definitely aren't in a good place, right? I didn't get a lot of home, family love, none of that. <laughs> None of that. He's being iced, literally. So, and WWE probably advised Braun Breaker, stay away. You know, stay away. Things got to cool off, right? So, all right, you guys. That's, that's what I see. 
I think he is a wolf in sheep's clothing that the person we thought all these years that, you know, Scott's the bad one. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I think he has been able to mask. It's all in his cards. Masking, masking. Uh, what was the word where you like internalize? Like what was the card it was saying? Uh, with the Egyptian card. Oh, crap. I can't find it. Not the sovereignty, not the higher forces. Hold on, y'all. This one. This is the one between the wolves and sheep's clothes, the containing, controlling one's feeling, restraining one's self-repressed emotions, and then the wolf in sheep's clothing, and then it was the Anubis card, which was telling him to shut up. <laughs> right? Not the right time. Move in the shadows, right? With the wolf in sheep's clothing. So I think these three cards really do say a lot about Rick Steiner. So take that for what you want. What do you think before I wrap up? Yeah, I think he's clearly been been holding a lot in and I don't know what what blew the blew the lid off his right? canister. Maybe uh, it was this. All the all the fun over the weekend. The, you gotta <laughs> say that was not the behavior of someone who's, you know, fully in control. That's what I'm saying. Of of themselves. Um, again, that's not an excuse. It's not at all. He, he he lowered his guard and the real him came out. Yep. Um and yeah, like it's a party weekend and he might have done a little bit too much of that allegedly for entertainment purposes, but he's gonna, oh, he's gonna some pay the price. Consequences. Absolutely. Uh, the WWE, I don't think, has made any particular statements. Again, I mean, Giselle Shaw wrestles for Impact. It's not really within their sphere, except for the fact that he is he, a Hall, he's of, a Hall Famer. of Famer. So, And he's not even like an old Hall of Famer. He nope. just went in a year ago. Yep, and Vinny's possibly like, and this is why we didn't want to let y'all in. All right, you guys, allegedly for entertainment purposes, that wraps us up for Wrestling t Terror. I'm Calypso here with Jude. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tea. It gave me gas and indigestion. Not one of my better ones. Sorry, but I did read it pretty well. <laughs> I feel a very cohesive story. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. We would love to see you the next time. Make sure you leave your comments on what you think and what, what else you would like to see. But until next time, thanks Check for watching. Check out our other videos. Bye.